He's scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. A man who calls himself the now, Austin Theory. This young man is as cocky as the day is long, but he backs it up every night. It looks like Theory brought all of his friends in the ring with him tonight. Oh, watch your mouth, Cole. You are looking at the youngest United States champion and Mr. Money in the bank ever. How did that cash in go? Well, that... I can't... Well, I, I don't have that information readily available. Usually the guys at 2K are great about giving me the stats. I, I, I'll get back to you. The WWE's Apex Predator is on the hunt. A rare third-generation superstar. The Viper possesses greatness coursing through his veins. And despite his family legacy, Randy Orton has forged a path of his own as one of WWE's top superstars of all time. It's a true test for this guy. Austin Theory is a complete package of speed, athleticism, and strength. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory! And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 the WWE United States Champion, The Viper, Randy Orton! One of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment here for the taking, the United States Championship.
There is a certain excitement that a United States Championship match has. It's hard to nail down exactly what it is. I know what you mean, Byron. Whether defending or challenging for the U.S. title, superstars seem to go the extra mile. Answers back on Orton. Ha, that one's scouted. Down to Otis and a double axe handle smash. A flat out power into the scoop slam. Crank in the head. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Theory struggling to defend himself. And Orton's turned the match in his favor. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Boom! To give the devil his due, I'll admit that Austin Theory is quite the impressive in-ring talent, especially for his age. But Corey, I have to imagine that his relative lack of experience could potentially cause him some problems in the long run here. Now you actually got a point, Cole. Theory's a standout talent for sure. But for as sure as himself, as he rightfully is, he still has some holes in his game. When it comes to in-ring IQ and that kind of ring awareness, Theory can be at a disadvantage. He's got him scouted. Clothesline, avoided contact and brought a big attack of their own. These two trading one blow after another. Oh. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. You can feel the contact and so does the WWE Universe. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Toe to toe, treating each other like money bags. There's a reason this man's called the Apex Predator. Tides are beginning to shift in the favor of the Viper. The Apex Predator is showing no concern for his opponent. And Theory able to adapt. Going for a pin for the championship. And he doesn't let the pin last long at all. Just power out. Lands an elbow. Brain buster to the knee. Theory making the hurting he put on him look oh so impressive. Really having a good time while he was... Austin Theory looking to end this. Attacks him. The title might change hands. Cover. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Kick out at one. Very few superstars possess the fortitude to do what we just witnessed. Very few? How about... Theory is becoming a bloody mess in there. Two. Randy Orton is walking out the same way he walked in a champion. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Here is your winner. And still the WWE United States Champion. The What a win for the champ as he retains the title. He just cemented his title reign with a gutsy performance.
The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall, making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 492 pounds. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the prime time players. Take a look at this team, completely on the same page. Such incredible teamwork they've shown. I can't wait to see them compete. And their opponents, accompanied by Santos Escobar, at a combined weight of 403 pounds. Angel Garza and Roberto Legado del Fantasma. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. Superstars in their respective corners now for this tag team match. Actually, get it underway, and in this one, we have Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. And they'll have their work cooperating cut out for them here, dealing with Angel and Umberto. And there is a lot of animosity growing between these teams. I expect all four competitors to throw caution to the wind. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Hoist it up. Oh, nice suplex. Big splash. The sheer force of that landing was probably enough to fracture a few bones. Anyone who thought this would be over quick has another thing coming. Great reversal. Able to avoid there. Return fire from Dawkins. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. Angel didn't exactly come up big against that one. And that is Dawkins' intensity starting to ratchet up. And he sends him into the corner. Pinpointing the leg in the corner. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. Oh, what an insecurity right in the ear. Going right after the neck. Neckbreaker. And he goes for the pin. He kicks out with authority. Maybe that was just to keep his opponent off balance. What a clothesline. Ouch. A oh, torturous knee. Just breaking down the opponent. The momentum shifted in Angel's favor. Yeah, Dawkins needs to find a way to right the ship here. Oh, must be tackle. I do not lose the cover. Oh, somehow. 
He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. He may have just slowed Angelo down a bit there. Slide Buster! With a sit out. Nasty. Saw the opening and turned it into a jawbreaker. Up and around. Tilt the world slam. Boom, right on the ear of the ends of Gary. Not the kind of offense you expect from a superstar with that build. Hammering down on the knee. Dawkins with a spear. For the win. Two kicks out. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Ooh. Oof. Bang, drop kick. Boom, what impact. Hey. Steps through, double under. Into the neck breaker. Angel is in the worst way now. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. Here are your winners, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the prime time players. Tag team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. They say when you know, you know, and I know there's no... The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Guys, it is time for a Tiffany epiphany. Tiffany Stratton, ready to dominate the competition. Stratton has an amazing gymnastics background. She even competed on the U.S. national team. She sprang her way into WWE after that and has never looked back. We've learned very quickly that it's always Tiffy time in WWE. <laughs> Tiffany Stratton ready to put the rest of the division on notice. And who's going to stop her? The Queen has arrived. Behold Her Majesty. Hey, if you want to create a legacy, in the WWE Women's Division, then Charlotte Flair is the mountain you have to climb. Yeah, there's no one even close to the amount of accomplishments that Charlotte has. The WWE ring is her unquestioned kingdom. Charlotte will stomp you and then leave an imprint of her boot tattooed on your face. Highly skilled in every facet, strength, brawling ability, risk-taking, mind games. No other women's competitor has been so decorated, so revered. Charlotte Flair is ahead of her time. True greatness usually isn't realized until after you've been enshrined in the WWE Hall of Fame. Such is not the case with Charlotte. Just open your eyes and experience the greatness.
Introducing the challenger from Pryor Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton! And her opponent from the Queen City, the WWE Women's Champion! Tonight is about earning the privilege to hold this title, the WWE Women's Championship. You can see a burning desire in the eyes of each athlete, knowing that the top of the mountain is on the winning side of this match. WWE Women's Championship on the line here in this one. A lot of history with this title, and tonight, no doubt, these superstars hope to make history all over again. Who will stay claim to the top of the division? Who will walk away with the gold around their waist? Snap suplex. Charlotte is a superstar known for her imposing demeanor, for her streak of absolute dominance. With that in mind, what exactly is the key to success against her here, if anything? It may not seem it, but the Queen is a mere mortal. She's not invincible, especially the more frustrated she gets. And if this match can go much longer without Charlotte getting the W, trust me, we'll... Uh-oh, way too... Oh, diving moonsault! And shoulders are down. She breaks the count quick. A truly impressive kick out this late. Going head to head, putting each other to the test. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. The queen strikes with the big boot. Nothing fancy about that. Boom! Boot. Nice! Flair now is dictating the pace. The Queen is holding the leverage in this match. Spear! And the Queen of all air is making it the cover by the champ! And a kick out. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Nothing Charlotte loves more than to gloat and say, I told you so. And she'll back it up soon enough. Hazardous position as Stratton gains her footing. Charlotte Flair with a trademark chop and natural selection. Now that is why they're the champ. The cover! It wasn't enough. She kicked out. This puts the pressure back on the champion. Can the champion respond with their back against the wall? Is Charlotte now going to have to find a recourse, find a new means to an end? A ferocious attack against Tiffany here. Now we have to see how tough Tiffany truly can be. Producing a trampling. Stop pulling a oh. leg snap. Oh, that's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. Ah, oh, Charlotte caught by the counter. Now Stratton looking for some momentum. She isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to her. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. The challenger is in some big trouble. Yeah, things are not looking up for her right now. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Oh, what a kick. Ooh, Ooh right to the leg. Up and down, what a slam. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! Delivering nasty stumps! Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And Stratton is showcasing her arsenal. She's kept Charlotte at bay. The W still eluding the Queen, and frustration has set in. The Queen is looking to put this thing away. Figure four locked in. She's got a branch, Corey. Figure eight on the way. Figure eight locked in deep. Charlotte defends the title again. 
We got our money's worth with that one. Take a look. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Women's Champion, Charlotte Belair! She successfully defends her crown. There were a few moments where... The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Men is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Welcome to the USO Penitentiary. We've seen many sides of Jimmy Uso throughout the years, but he has never been more dangerous. Jimmy Uso now with a killer instinct we've never seen before. But you have to wonder if Jimmy is perhaps facing more adversity than ever. He's had documented issues with his brother, with his family. He might be a man without a bloodline at this point. The Brahma Bull looks ready to lay the smack down. Well, here's a man who's captured the imagination of the entire sports entertainment industry, the Brahma Bull, one of the very best of all time. Without question, The Rock has been a champion at every level and a surefire future WWE Hall of Famer. We're about to see The Rock lay the smack down. All the catchphrases aside, The Rock is all business tonight. <laughs> the Rock holding court inside the people's ring. Big fight feel for every Rock match. Introducing the challenger from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Jimmy Uso. And his opponent from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed
the championship of all championships, and the biggest prize in WWE. Possession of this title puts you in a league of your own. This is what we've been waiting for. A match to decide the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The crowd has been buzzing about this all day. Anytime a title of this magnitude is up for grabs, it generates an unbelievable level of excitement. The question on everyone's mind is who walks out champion? A question that we'll soon have an answer for. Out. There it is, the people's punch. What a drop kick. The Rock trying to ramp things up. The physical ability of The Rock. Haymaker after Haymaker. Oh, ouch. Slugging away with everything they've got. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Oh. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh. Had that move from the Rock scouted. Boom. Oh, man. Rock plants him with a spine buster. Brilliant placement. It's time. It's time for the most electrifying move in all sports entertainment. Dodges out of the way. There it is, the people's punch. Oh, an inverted atomic drop. Very nice. Ooh, again. Boom. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Uh-oh. Soul kick! Here's a pin for the title. And shoulders up before a count of one. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. Oh, my! A focused attack on the base of the chair. Ooh! Oh, straight to the floor! Talk about a jumping nothing. A real miscalculation on their part. And now thrown back into the ring. Flying forearm. He knows how to avoid contact. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Enough already. Drop kick hits the mark. Oh, the hole a slam. Set up for the side rush and leg sweep. Devastating flourish from The Rock here. The Rock's opponent needs to know his role. Dodges the attack by pushing off. And Jimmy puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. The angry Uso looking for the upper hand. Looking for the victory! Shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. The Rock with a great dodge. I oh, able to counter. Here it comes. 
Stay away from the worm. The tequila sunrise. Oh, how in the world do you get out of this? I guess just like that. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fading. Fading. Give up now. And breaks out of the sleeper. The champ looking worn out. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late state top row. Uso Splash! Gonna see a new champ! What? You gotta be kidding me. What just happened? I don't know, but I think it just blew the roof off this arena. And there needs to be a refocus now. That was the moment that cut top row. Uh -oh. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. This fight has to be seen to be believed. Who will prevail? True greats are at their best when their backs are. Get ready, Corey. Get ready for the most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment. The people's elbow. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Two. The Rock's rain was not here tonight. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. Here is your winner, and still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, The Rock! Big win as he retains the championship. He came out here and defended what was his. You have to give him credit. A man who's been champion everywhere he's ever competed. The phenomenal AJ Styles. And guess what? He's not showing any signs of slowing down. The following contest is an eight-man battle. Making his way to the ring. We're presenting the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds. The phenomenal AJ Styles. This is a man who is always looking to steal the show and win titles. Endless confidence in his abilities with his proven track record. And no doubt about it, Cole Styles is excellence personified. Truly second to none in the ring. The living Lucha Libre legend is here. A man who has done it all in WWE. And representing the LWO from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mir 
a former world champion, WWE champion, Royal Rumble winner, Rey Mysterio has made a career out of stepping up. Oh, the original hardcore icon is here. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say things are about to get crazy. And from Philadelphia, weighing in at 240 pounds, the Wherever the Sandman goes, the ECW faithful will follow. Yeah, the Sandman is a hazard to opponents' well-being, sometimes even to his own. But he defends the honor of ECW with every breath and every swing. A former ECW tag team champion and world champion, Sandman's name is engraved in the rafters at the ECW Arena. The American Nightmare is here. The son of a son of a plumber looking to continue the Rhodes legacy. taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else is a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family.
Here comes our Tribal Chief. Perhaps the most dominant champion in WWE history. The head of the table, Roman Reigns. And from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! The Tribal Chief has faced opponents from every corner of the earth, and none of them have withstood the challenge. And at this rate, who's left? Well, it may seem impossible, but a match like tonight is an ultimate opportunity. Then reality sets in. You are facing greatness on a different level. You just can't help but be in awe of the Tribal Chief. I agree, Saxton. This man has truly earned his spot at the head of the table. And he is truly the Tribal Chief of WWE. Just a prelude to the unrelenting attack we are about to see from Karrion Cross. Time to go viral with one of the most polarizing figures in pop culture. And from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, Logan Paul. You know, we know Logan Paul's taken on some of the top names in boxing and WWE, and he may be big on the internet, but can he really handle a fight? Why don't you roll in the ring and find out yourself, Saxton? No, I'm good. I'm good right here. Put a little respect on Logan Paul's name. Oh. 
Set your DVR. Logan Paul is about to create another viral moment. Yeah, but will it be at Logan Paul's expense or his opponent's expense? Logan's opponent should be grateful for the exposure of just being able to stand next to Logan Paul. Well, stop fanboying, Corey. Now here's someone ready to storm into a fight. First one to enter, last one to leave. And their opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. Definitely set to make an impact in WWE. This guy has never met a spotlight he didn't like, but I'll give credit where it's due. When you're as good as LA Knight, you shine bright naturally. A star-studded battle royal over the top rope elimination rules. After going over the top rope, both feet have to hit the floor to be eliminated. Last remaining superstar wins. This could honestly be anyone's game, guys. Could be a short night for some of these superstars. All it takes is one misstep. Someone else is one lucky moment, and you could be heading to the back to the locker room sooner than you planned. Set him up here. Up in the suplex. Oh, no. Suplex, back suplex into the neck breaker. A shot like that to the ego can really shake you up mentally. Counter after counter. German suplex. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Whoa, not quite yet. There he goes, right into the corner. Mistake made by Logan Paul. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. And it looks like they have no problem bending the rules there. And after that shot to the knee, what could be next? Gentlemen, this is what I believe we refer to as that was one of those power bombs that was short in someone's career. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. A big kick to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. On to the back of the neck. Right to the leg. Great defense by Knight. Able to reverse. And Rene Hurricanrana. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Making a mockery of your opponent could eventually backfire. Punch right in the head. Ooh, ooh. Boom, what a kick. He's getting a little battered now. Yeah, stature doesn't matter when Ray can deliver offense that impactful. Take him out at the knee. Just doing anything they can to chip away at the base. Sharp jab. Series of strikes to the back. Voice up there. Delivering elbow after elbow. Gonna turn your cranium inside out with that. Shifts it back onto it. Oh my god, a DDT! Spiked him. Oh man, inverted backbreaker. Out. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Oh, what a kick. Vicious. Yeah.
That suplex. In control here with a cover. Knight was ready for that. Just a sec. Oh, attacking the shoulder. 